Okay, today we're going to explain our project, which is the washing machine. The washing machine consists of three processes, which is the washing, the spinning, and the drying. Now, for the main components which requires these processes, first of all, we use a water pump, as you can see here, for the washing part. Then we used a, mot uh, a motor for the spinning part. And then the last we used a, a fan for the drying part, along with a buzzer that shows that these three processes has ended. Now for the, for the board, we actually used some uh, LEDs uh, to show the sequence of the processes. We used some resistors to prevent the LEDs from burning out. We used, some, uh, we used the uh, transistor, the NPN transistors, to convert the 3.3 volts coming from the FPGA to 5 volts to allow the components to turn on, and some wires, female to male and female to female wiring, to allow the connection between the FPGA and the wiring. Now for more of the wiring connections. Hardware part, I connected everything in parallel uh, so that I can assign uh, them in the GPIOs. Uh, so for the LEDs, I connected them and the and the buzzer. I connected uh, connected them directly to the GPIO since they can operate with 3.3 volt, which is coming from the GPIO. Uh, and in the code, I assigned the yani each of the GPIO to be assigned to one whenever a stage is happening. Uh, so it will send a signal one, which will operate the first buzzer in the first uh, first led in the first stage the second one in the second uh, and then uh, i connected a common ground he, uh, a common ground yes here uh, for uh, in the fpga here in the ground part and uh, connected the uh, 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 which is connected to the resistor and the resistor is connected to the negative of the led uh, and uh, and the positive part of the LED is connected directly to the GPIO, and uh, same for all the LEDs and the buzzer. And for the the components that take five volts, like the fan and the motor and the water pump, I use the NP, uh, NPN transistor, which is con which is the collector uh, of the NPN is connected uh, directly to the. A negative, a negative uh, part of the component here, uh, for example, the fan, and the positive part of the component is connected directly to the common, uh, common five volts. Uh, and uh, the base of the transistor is connected directly to the GPI opens, which is assigned if uh, if it, if its signal is one, it will be turned on. Uh, for uh, same for the motor and the uh, water pump. That's it. Go. For the software part, we created a module for the uh, for the washing machine, which takes the seven segment uh, logic diagram and uh, plot, reset, hold, start, and uh, blue, red, green, uh, and LED LED values and the uh, and the uh, fan component values. Uh, first of all, we initialized uh, a, a variable first with five seconds and uh, a flag with zero. Th this flag will uh, will count the uh, the number of stages based on the first 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 variable. Uh, our counter is uh, has a, a clock, but the clock in the in Verilog is very fast. It's 50 megahertz, so we created a module, a new module, for the for the clock. The our clock takes 25 million uh, clock cycles from very long uh, clock, and creates only one clock. So it's uh, it it becomes only one hertz, which is one second. Third part, we uh, we initialized uh, three variables. We initialized uh, first. A variable called first, which uh, which is five, and uh, flag int which is zero. Five is the counter of the first uh, first stage in our uh, in our uh, washing machine. And when every stage finishes, uh, the flag int is incremented by one. So the second stage will be only four seconds. The third stage will be three seconds based on the uh, flag int. And the flag int will be uh, when it becomes two, the, the washing machine will work. Yes. Uh, we created a flag called flag one, which uh, senses uh, four options.
objects passing in front of the plasma. Uh, if, if plug one is true, then uh, it will go to the if part and checks if uh, the plug if is less than three, meaning that uh, there are uh, less than three states. Uh, so uh, uh, on will be written on the appear board. Uh, then it checks if uh, plug in if it's two, meaning that the three states are uh, we're done with the three states. So uh, off will be written on the appear board, and the else part uh, that no uh, that no, there are no states, then it will be off. Uh, for the sensor part, we use the uh, ultrasonic sensor. First, we initialized uh, five variables with uh, initially with uh, zero, uh, four for the LED, and one variable that uh, counter that counts the object that passes in front of the ultrasonic sensor. Uh, we created a faster clock, uh, and whenever the distance between the object and the sensor is less than 15 centimeters, it will uh, the counter will be incremented by one, meaning that one object has passed, uh, and then uh, one of the LED lamps on the FPGA will lighten up. Uh, this is for and when whenever the, the four LED, uh, whenever the four LEDs are all uh, lighting up, uh, the the flag will uh, will be set to one, meaning that the, the washing machine uh, will start. Uh, and the FPGA is connected uh, the uh, and the ultrasonic sensor, the four pins, the first pin, the VCC, is connected to the five volt, and the ground is connected with the ground. Uh, and then the, the trigger and the echo uh, are assigned randomly to the FPGA. Uh, and that's it. Very uh, quick. Back to the coding part, we have uh, declared seven registers that are connected to the uh, FPGA through the GP. IO output signals. These uh, registers are uh, declared are declared uh, initialized with uh, zero bits, and after we initialize the register with zero, we enter the first state. Uh, the first process is the wash. We initialize. We set the red uh, LED to one, so that it uh, lights and the uh, pump starts with one. Sets with one. Then we enter the second process. Uh, we reset the red LED to zero and set the uh, the blue uh, the blue uh, uh, the blue light to one, and then we uh, set the motor to one, so that it's a spinning uh, process. Then we enter the third process where we set the green bulb to uh, one and the uh, fan. It's okay. After the three processes are finished, we uh, set the the green uh, the green bulb to zero, the fan to zero, and we set the buzzer on. As you can see, the FPGA shows an off with the, with the timer of five. Now we're gonna allow the sensor to read four objects. One, two, three, four. Now it's gonna turn on. The blue light is on. The water pump is pumping water. Now the motor for the spinning part for three seconds with the red LED. Now the fan is turning on with the green LED on. On, and now the buzzer show that the process has ended.